We've been giggling all through the commercial break. We're here with Darren Rose. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Match game, Mr. D. Uh, you're doing your stand-up as we saw right there. Um, tell us a little bit about your history and, and wh what your content of your stand-up is based on. Uh, mostly it's me telling hurtful true stories about my family. Nice. Uh, I talk about how evil my brother is because big brothers are the worst people on earth. I don't know if you have a, I do an and he is. Right. They're vicious. They're like James Bond villains. Like my brother put me in the dryer when I was three. Like, <laughs> just to see if I would get smaller. Uh, he pushed me out of a moving car once. Not when we were children no. and didn't understand the consequences. I was 17. No, he no, was driving. No. And I was just running with my hands on the cement. And then for some reason, all is forgiven, right? Anybody right. else, you charge them with a crime. Right. But just an hour later, I'm like, hey, that was hilarious. I'm picking gravel out of my hands. <laughs> But just so, uh, it's sort of my show is me taking revenge on my family. Does it work? How, how does your brother feel about your... Well, he feels pretty good about it because yeah. he's, in his mind, he's the hero of all these stories. He's like, yeah, I pushed him out. I'm so strong. <laughs> I was driving, too. You know how hard that is? I'm buckling somebody's seatbelt. So to him, he's like, yeah, I'm a man. How much older is he than you? He's only two years older, but so, so much stronger. <laughs> same? I, I, oh, yeah. And they're the worst, right? Yeah. Yeah, they will go the out of their way to torture you. There's no question. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, why Big Brothers. Somebody should sit them down and just like, listen, you're not, uh, you, you're not a dictator. You're not a James Bond yeah. villain. Just try to be nice to this little person. Like, <laughs> no. no, hold on, I'm gonna push you down the stairs. Yes. Yeah. I was number one, and then you came along. Right. That's pretty much how and that, that anger goes. lasts forever. Kind of does. Yeah. Now let's talk a little bit. You, I went through your bio, and honestly, Darren, I can't even rattle off how decorated you are as a Canadian. Wow. Oh, well, you are. I mean, you've, you've done the biggies, right? You had Just for Laughs Festival, how many times? Five times? Uh, five times, yeah. Five times. That's a big deal. But Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, come on. It was great. What was, was that like? How did you get that gig? How did you. I was, my Take agent phoned me, he's like, hey, you should do Ferguson. I was like, yeah, sure. And then he called me three days later, he's like, you're doing Ferguson in two weeks. I was like, what, what is it? Happens that quickly? That's great. <laughs> so you get there and you're in LA and you're going into, it's LA, right? In LA, yeah, yeah. 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 So well, I live there, yeah. So, the, so yeah. you're in LA, you go to Craig Ferguson Studios. Yeah. You get in there. Now you've done all the Just for Laughs, you've toured, toured Canada, you've honed your craft, if you will. Right. Are you extra scared when you step out on that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's weird because, like, with Just for Laughs, you go around, I did the Just for Laughs National Tour last year, you play 2,500 seat theaters in every city in Canada, and then you go to a room about this size, there's yeah. like 150 people, I'm like, oh my God, I hope this girl is okay. <laughs> like, what? It's 150 people here. And so, and then uh, Craig yeah. Ferguson, I told you before, I won't tell you the whole, uh, right. leave, leave, but he comes leave over, that one he comes one. over to me right uh, before I go up, he's like, hey, so nice to meet you, thanks for having me on the show. Show. Uh, there's a great crowd. Don't f this up. What? Why would you say that, Craig? <laughs> he didn't say f. He's, you know, he used it was the real full life. Yeah, he used the full verbiage. much longer. Yeah, the, the forty-letter word. Okay, so Cornucopia is going on up at Whistler right now, which is a huge foodie festival. It's great. Oh, You're okay. going to Whistler. I am going to Whistler tonight. Tonight and yeah, performing at the where? Millennium Place. So cool. Yeah, that'll be. Tickets fun. still available? Can we get in, or are you completely sold out? Uh, no, there's tickets still available. Oh, Otherwise, I'd be asleep right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here just to sell tickets. Good to know, Darren. Let me hawk some more. For for you because after Whistler tonight, uh, you're then I go Victoria, Victoria tomorrow and play the Alex Goulden Hall, and then I play the Nanaimo's Port Theater on Sunday. Are you fun on Twitter? I don't know. Are I'm, you I'm, funny on Twitter? I, you know, I try to be. Throw it down. But, but it's weird. Yes, you are. It's weird if you're a comic because if I think of something funny enough to be in my act, I'm not going to put it on Twitter. Oh, good. So point. like Twitter is just like all the things that aren't funny enough for me to say in my act. Okay, well let's follow you on Twitter and we can go back and forth on how our big brothers bully us. Right. Yeah. Well, holy shit, you come back from the break. We're just oh. it's going to be okay. <laughs> Darren Rose, catch him up at Whistler tonight, Victoria tomorrow night, Nanaimo on Sunday night. Uh, always a pleasure. And one day I want to be on Match Game. Thanks so much.